Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the first session of the day. Roofs of the future, next generation technology. My name is Mirza Hadzik. I'm the marketing manager at Firestone Building Products Canada. And it's going to be my pleasure to introduce you the, uh, the presenters of the day, as well as the uh, topic of the day. Uh, briefly, I'll just say a few words about uh, Firestone Building Products. Uh, we are a division of uh, Bridgestone. Uh, the Bridgestone Corporation is the largest rubber and tire uh, manufacturer in the world. Um, Firestone has been around for uh, over a century, uh, coming to uh, close a century, uh, close to half a century of experience in the uh, building envelope uh, division. Uh, the company manufactures uh, high-performance roofing systems uh, with uh, manufacturing facilities in North America as well as in Europe. The products are Rubber Guard EPDM, Ultra Ply TPO. Metal roofs, asphalt roofing systems, insulation, coatings, and so on. Today, we're going to talk about the roofs of the future. You'll see how uh, different components come together to uh, form a high performance uh, first line of defense against the elements. And we're going to introduce a brand new membrane. It's a self adhering, ultra ply TPO membrane featuring secure bond technology. And to uh, tell you all about that, um, and to show you, right here, we'll have uh, Steve and uh, uh, Yogesh uh, do a, uh, a live demonstration. They'll build a live roof. And to tell you about it, uh, we're going to have Robert Anderson, uh, or Building uh, Envelope Solutions Manager, out of uh, Chicago for today. So Robert, the floor is yours. Thanks, Mirza. Well, welcome, everyone. Um, I really appreciate you coming out to take a look at our roof of the future. And let's think about this. We're doing a roofing demo indoors today. Uh, on your buildings right now, how many of the roofing technologies that you use could you demo indoors? Uh, we're going to do that today and show you how this material goes down. But for those of you that aren't really familiar with roofing, I want to walk through this assembly a little bit and talk about what we're going to be building up over here in the demo. So on the bottom, you can see that it, uh, we've always are starting with a roof deck, right? And with our diagram, we're showing a metal roof deck. You might have wood, you might have concrete roof decks. We're showing a metal roof deck, then a protection board, then a vapor barrier. And then on top of that, insulation and a cover board and a roofing membrane. This is a typical 30-year warranted installation by Firestone that you might see on a project today. Uh, over here, we've got this V-Force vapor barrier laid down on uh, what is our uh, facsimile of a deck. So let's assume that that's on top of that metal deck or wood deck. We're building on top of carpeting today, so we got to be a little bit careful about that. But that's our roof deck to start out with today. What is this uh, V-Force product that you see down, though? Uh, that is an air and vapor barrier. So it is a class one vapor retarder. We normally put that down right as the base layer on top of the decking. Uh, so what that's gonna do is provide that air barrier seal, make sure your building is nice and tight. It also uh, acts as a temporary roof. So you can have some UV exposure to that as you're using your roof as a platform to build from. You're dried in already with that V-Force membrane down. Uh, so we see more and more roofing projects using this V-Force. Uh, it is a self-adhering product. You didn't get to see them put that down because we have limited time in the demo today, but it's peel and stick. So that product has uh, 30 to 40 mils of asphalt on the bottom of it, which is actually adhering it down to, the, uh, to the, your deck surface or your substrate board. And with that much asphalt, it'll actually self-seal around fasteners. So this uh, V-Force product is included in all of our UL and FM tested assemblies. Uh, and it's a, it's a great product, again, to use as a, uh, a temporary roof as you're building up. It is an air and a vapor barrier. Now what you see the guys doing over here is putting down some insulation. And when we talk about insulation and commercial roofing, most of the time we're talking about polyisocyanurin. So that's what they're laying down, those 4x4 four four boards. Uh, and Steve is applying that using Firestone's Twin Pack Adhesive. So that's a low-rise foam adhesive. It can be used down to, to very cold temperatures. Uh, you can tell uh, we're here indoors, so can anybody smell that? Uh, very, very low odor, very, very low VOC. Uh, so it's a great product to use on occupied buildings when you're re-roofing. 
so normally, we would lay those uh, insulation beads down with that twin pack adhesive and a one inch bead at about 12 inches on center. Your building might be a little bit different depending on what types of uh, pressures you're working with. But after that adhesive sets up a little, then we're placing the board on top of it and weighting it down. So normally we would wait each of these boards for about, oh, four or five minutes uh, before moving on. But again, in the demo here, we're going to kind of move it a little bit more quickly for you. So that's the first layer of insulation. Up here in Toronto, uh, we're in the climate zone six, according to ASHRAE and the IECC. Uh, but here with the Ontario Building Code and the energy requirements in this area, we typically see uh, an R value of 30 recommended. So for new construction or re-roofing, R30 is the typical that we see. So that's a buildup of insulation of uh, over five inches. Again, there are a few different insulation technologies that you can use on your roof, but most of the time we're using polyiso insulation. That is the dominant material in the commercial roofing industry. Uh, why? I would say because of the thermal performance here. So when it comes to insulation, we have a scoreboard. It's called R value. So the higher the R value, the less heat energy can transmit through. These are non-conductive boards, so the heat will not move through. You'll be able to maintain that energy within your building. Uh, and with polyiso, it gets R 5.7 per inch. That's better than any of the other insulation technologies that are out there today. We typically see maybe extruded polystyrene or expanded polystyrene, but those materials don't have quite the insulating value, and they're also thermoplastic. So that means when, when those insulation types are exposed to high heat or flame, they'll melt. Uh, so maybe not the product that you'd want to use in your building envelope. It would need to be used with a thermal barrier, some sort of fire protection layer. With polyiso, we do not require that. Uh, polyiso is a thermoset material. So when it's exposed to heat or uh, high heat or accidental flame, it will uh, char rather than melt. So it's not going to produce additional fuel for any accidental fire. So they're still putting down that first layer of polyiso insulation, uh, which as you can see, they can walk on. It's a rigid foam plastic insulation board but if you're going to have any kind of traffic on your rooftop, uh, say you're going to have regular maintenance up on that roof, or maybe you're in a hail prone area, or you're going to be running carts over it, we would always recommend a cover board in that application. So that's when we're putting an even denser product, an even harder product on top of the insulation to protect that insulation and extend the life of your roof. So we're going to be putting down a high density poly ISO cover board right over the top of this. So after this insulation layer goes down, they'll apply more twin pack adhesive and set those four by four boards of uh, high density poly ISO over the top. That's uh, Firestone's uh, IsoGuard HD. Now normally when you'd be installing multiple layers of insulation or insulation and then a cover board, you'd always want to offset and stagger the joints. You never want to have the joints line up corner to corner. So you can even see on that first layer that they put down, there's a two foot board, then a four foot board. The second layer starts with a four foot board. Now on the second layer, we would always try to offset and stagger it so those joints don't line up. But again, this cover board is going to provide uh, excellent protection for the whole roofing system. It's going to make it much more impact resistant, uh, much less prone to punctures or things of that nature. You could also use a glass mat gypsum board or wood fiber. But in recent years, we've seen building owners and designers shifting more to that high density poly ISO uh, because uh, contractors like working with it a heck of a lot better. You can see it's uh, much easier to carry around a, a piece of foam rather than a, a, a glass mat gypsum board, much easier to cut also, but it's also giving you insulating performance. With our high density poly ISO, there is an R value of 2.5 just with that half inch product. So you're adding to the thermal resistance of your assembly. Now these guys are still gonna be putting down the insulation cover board for a little while, but I wanna start talking about the membrane that we're gonna be using today. Uh, TPO roofing membranes are a great single ply roofing system. They're uh, reflective uh, and they are the way the industry has been trending. Uh, we see more and more TPO single ply systems every year. Uh, in the United States uh, last year, TPO roofs were more than half of the US commercial roofing market. And uh, while the existing building stock here in Canada still has quite a bit of modified roofing, modified asphalt systems, 
we see the trend towards single ply systems continuing. And TPO is an excellent material choice. Firestone warrants our ultra ply TPO for up to 30 years, and we're going to look at a warrantable uh, Firestone TPO assembly here today. So our ultra ply TPO available in a few different thicknesses, 45 and 60 mil, 60 being the most common. Um, a very reflective, high performance membrane. Uh, our first uh, TPO installation is over 20 years old and still in service. So a proven formulation with no formulation changes. Uh, we're really proud of our UltraPly TPO. Over 4 billion square feet installed worldwide. As I mentioned, this is a trend that is continuing uh, and not just in Canada, but uh, everywhere. We see a movement towards single ply systems uh, because they've been found to work. It's a much simpler installation. Uh, you're getting a reflective membrane in one layer that you know is going to last for decades. But today, we're going to talk about the next innovation of that. And we're pretty excited to talk about a product that is really engineered for Canada. Uh, so getting away from the old technology of roofing and moving toward a system that is designed for the conditions that you have here in Canada. Um, we're, we're really excited that this is available. Our TPO SA self-adhered with secure bond technology. Uh, this is a product that was actually launched a few years ago and uh, Firestone could not keep up with demand. Uh, so we weren't able to ship any to Canada where the product seemed to make the most sense. Uh, and as of last year, we're finally on top of that demand and we're able to ship some material up here and we are proud to say that we have launched this material here in Canada uh, and it's going to be a great choice for many, for many building owners. Again, let's remember that we're doing this uh, demo indoors today. Uh, that's not something that we could do with uh, traditional roofing technologies. You might say, well, gosh, I, I thought I'd seen self-adhering roofs uh, on the market before. What's so new about this? And you're right. Uh, there have been self-adhering uh, peel and stick roofing membranes out in the market for a while, but they use an older technology where the adhesive is based on a hot melt. And frankly, with the hot melt technology, uh, you needed to use a primer. And contractors would say, well, if I need to put down a primer, why wouldn't I just put down adhesive? <laughs> so the, the self-adhering technology wasn't quite sticky enough to work on its own. Uh, additionally, that had those same installation temperature requirements that we were used to seeing with traditional adhesives. It needed to be 15 degrees and rising. And we don't have that every day uh, here in Toronto. Uh, so there were also issues with the shelf life, there were issues with the pricing, but this is the next generation of adhesive. Uh, we know it works. It's the strongest adhesive that Firestone makes. So that first problem of temperature is a big one, right? If uh, you're only looking at 15 degrees and rising, it doesn't give us a very wide window for roofing. Uh, shortens the season considerably. Well, with TPO SA with Secure Bond technology, we've got a phenomenal adhesive that actually performs better as it gets colder. So we are uh, happy to have contractors do installations with this product down to negative seven. So that extends your roofing season by a full you know, month on the front end and a month on the back end. It's a pretty big advantage to be able to have an adhered system that can go down in that cold of temperatures. So you can see that where our uh, competitors' adhesives normally max out at around 15 degrees, uh, Firestone's Secure Bond technology actually gets tackier, gets more aggressive in its adhesive strength as it gets a bit colder. Uh, so a pretty big innovation, uh, something that we know we can utilize here in Canada. So you see the guys are uh, weighting down the last couple of boards over there of our cover board. Uh, this is pretty much going to be ready then to receive our TPO SA in a bit, uh, but I think they'll probably go on break for a little bit while I chat about the products. How about this problem? This isn't anybody, uh, this isn't a problem that any of us want to see. No one wants to have their building on the news. Uh, certainly no roofing manufacturer wants to have their products on the news. Uh, but this happens. Uh, there are concerns over open flames on roofs. Um, that's the existing technology out there with modified bitumen. With TPO SA, it's a super quick and easy installation. You're going to see it in a little bit, and it really could not be easier. So no more open flames. Uh, it's uh, about as easy as can be. 
and it's uh, pre-engineered to make sure that this product is going to adhere uh, as easily and quickly as possible. We've done time studies with this versus traditional bonding adhesive. So when TPO is traditionally adhered, there are bucket goods of adhesive five gallon pails. And those adhesives might be sprayed down, they might be rolled down with kind of a, a modified paint roller, uh, or they could be applied with a kind of a, a cart contraption. Uh, either way, it takes a bit of time to lay that adhesive down, wait for that adhesive to flash off. That's basically for the, the liquid part of the adhesive to evaporate, so the adhesive is ready to receive the membrane. Uh, so we've had time studies done that show this self-adhering product uh, can go down up to five times faster. Uh, so it's a huge labor savings for your contractors on the roof, especially in times when there might be uh, uh, not as many roofing contractors in the community as we need. Uh, this is a way that a roofing contractor can get onto your roof and off of your roof even quicker. Um, also, we're not going to be putting a primer down. Uh, when TPO SA with Secure Bond technology is installed over uh, Firestone's polyiso insulation or over our HDISO cover board, or even over a glass mat gypsum board or wood, no primer is required. So we're getting all of those bucket goods off the roof, all of that rubbish off the roof. Uh, the product is going to simply be adhering directly to the substrate board, in this case, IsoGuard HD. Hmm. How about quality control? How about making sure it sticks? Well, when you're applying adhesive in this manner, uh, it's, pretty, it, it's pretty straightforward to get the adhesive down but it's not the easiest uh, quality check. What's the quality assurance in the field to make sure that the application rate is as we've prescribed? With Secure Bond SA, uh, or with TPO SA with Secure Bond technology, we've got a uniform application of that adhesive on the back side of the membrane. We're quality checking that in our factory so that you know you've got the appropriate amount of adhesive on the back side of that sheet. Uh, and you can see, again, it is the strongest adhesive that Firestone makes. We're applying it to the back side of the sheet. We know it sticks. You can be confident in the bond. Well, here's another problem. Owner-occupied roofs and fumes. Uh, who's ever experienced uh, an odor concern on a rooftop? It happens. If you're re-roofing, but you need to keep that building occupied, uh, wouldn't it be nice to have an odorless solution? Well, now we have one. As I mentioned before, we're getting all of the buckets, all of the liquid adhesives off of the roof. So now you've got a, a zero VOC solution, a zero odor solution, and you've gotten rid of all of that rubbish. The release liner that you're going to see these guys peel from the backside is completely recyclable. Uh, so we've got a, a great product for owner-occupied rear roofs. Uh, you're not going to have any odor complaints. Uh, as, as I've mentioned a couple of times now, we're doing this indoors in a convention center. Uh, there's no way that we could open up a can of our low VOC bonding adhesive in here. Even though it's low VOC, the odors would, would drive us out. Uh, you couldn't uh, torch down a modified system indoors. We're going to put this down indoors here in just a little bit. And of course, all these are, are covered by a Firestone warranty. Now, Firestone offers roof system warranties that are full material and labor warranties for up to 30 years. The system that we're showing today is uh, up to a 25 year system. We're going to be showing our 60 mil TPO uh, and we've got a number of different ways that you can detail out a 60 mil TPO adhered roof system to get a 25 year warranty. Firestone has over 5 billion square feet of roofing material under warranty. So you're backed by a corporation that is going to be there for the long haul. Uh, and we would love to partner with you on your next roofing applications. Uh, and you can see for yourself how this wonderful roof of the future can go down today and get a 25-year warranty. It also serves as a great substrate under a vegetative roof. We're seeing an increasing number of vegetative roof systems. And our TPO has uh, passed the test uh, by the FLL German Labs to be considered a root barrier in and of itself. Today, we're only gonna see one piece of this TPO material go down, uh, but normally in a roof, you're gonna have multiple rolls of TPO. There are gonna be side laps. Those laps are heat welded. So there's actually a heat welder that runs over the top of that seam and it fuses the top sheet to the bottom sheet. So you have one monolithic layer of waterproofing and it's also one monolithic root barrier. The roots will not get through TPO. 
So did you know that you can get a vegetative roof system from your roofing supplier? You can get all of your needs from one company, so there's no finger pointing if there are issues down the road. Uh, heck, we'll even warrant the plant life of these things for a couple of years. So think about how you can consolidate the number of trades, consolidate the number of manufacturers you might have, so there's fewer, uh, less opportunity for finger pointing down the road should something go wrong. At Firestone, we can produce an entire warranted system uh, to help you achieve your goals. So, to summarize, Secure Bond is an adhesive technology that we've come out with that is industry leading. It is the best adhesive in the industry. Uh, it is a self-adhering sheet. It couldn't be easier to put down. We've expanded the temperature window, so now you can uh, roof in even colder temperatures. It's, it's engineered for Canada. And most importantly, it's people friendly, right? This is a safe product. We've got no odors, no VOCs, and no rubbish on the roof. What do you think? Would you like to uh, watch Steven Yogesh put this down? Let me uh, defer to them for a moment and we'll see them roll out. Now we, we've assembled a 12 by 12 deck here and it's a 10 foot wide roll of material that we're going to be applying over the top. So you'll see them grab that roll of TPO SA. Now the surface of this TPO looks exactly like Firestone standard Ultraply TPO. Uh, the magic is in the adhesive on the back. So that's a 60 mil reflective white membrane. Oh, look at that, it's pre-cut, how handy. Can everybody hear me? Okay. Um, first of all, we're gonna let the membrane when you roll it out, you're just going to kind of let it relax, kind of take a shape. Unfortunately, it was sitting in my truck all night, so it's a little cold. But again, with uh, Secure Bond technology, we're still getting that good strength we want in that minus 7 degree temperature. On my way here, I believe it was minus 6. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to let it sit for a minute. I'll talk a little bit about this. I was in the roofing industry for installing for about 17, 14 years. I've been in Firestone for about uh, four. Phenomenal product. Um, if I had this stuff when I was doing the roofs, when I was on the tools, the production of this, this material, the speed of it, the ease of it, um, there's nothing out there that can compare to it. Um, when you're doing high walls, okay, normally the membrane's got to go up those big high walls. It's a peel and stick product. Normally, I, you know, I used to do big, big, big buildings like Home Depots and Walmarts where they had those big high peaked walls. I'd have to set up scaffolds, I'd have to be tied off on the scaffold, I'd have pails of glue on the scaffold, I'd have rollers on the scaffold. It was just, it was, it was a hazard for me. With this stuff, you know, you can cut it into manageable pieces and you can peel a little bit of the release, set it on the wall, and then just keep pulling and roll it right down. I don't have to be tripping on glue pails, I don't have to be tripping on rollers, it's just phenomenal. Um, I would say, I, I did a, I did a, uh, demo with one of my contractors and we laid out a 10 by 100 with three guys and for a 10 by 100 with a seam it took us 16 minutes so that's a thousand square feet in 16 minutes compared to the old way it would probably take if you were fully hearing it it would probably take you 30 to 40 minutes to put that down so we're offering that speed that um, the ease of use and a superior product in the market. So we let it sit a little bit. Yogesh and I, we're just going to fold the piece back. So we're going to fold it back at least five feet. We're going to, it's got a split release liner on the back. So we'll both pull the release liner on a 45, tuck it in underneath, roll it in, and then we'll just continue down the line. Afterwards, we'll go over it with a push broom, just kind of push out any little pockets of air that might be in the membrane. So now you can see what Steve meant by the split release liner. It's split down the middle. So having uh, two people uh, uh, perform this operation makes the most sense. Uh, and one thing that you may not have picked up with uh, Steve when he mentioned his contractor training, he mentioned a crew of uh, you know three to four people. You can get away with a, a reduced crew size when you're working. Okay. So as they're getting this started, they're peeling back the release liner a bit, 
and then they're going to kind of uh, get this material rolled back and flopped in place. So they'll adhere down that end tag across the whole uh, you know, edge, uh, the end of one roll. And if you can envision this on top of one of your roofs, uh, it, it'd typically be a 100 foot roll. So they'd be rolling out this entire roll. They would tack it down at the one end, and then these two, then these two guys would pull on a 45 degree angle. So that release liner will come out. And then as Steve mentioned, he's gonna go over the top of it with a push broom. Again, that's a 100% recyclable liner. Now over some substrates, uh, over wood for instance, you will need a weighted roller over the top of it. But when it's on top of Firestone's own insulation or cover board, the bond is so great that we can simply push broom that down and that is adhered. That is a permanent roof. Uh, what we would do then, of course, is heat weld the seam uh, to the side lap of the next roll of material. But as soon as Steve is done brooming this in, he's done. He's off to the next roll. Uh, so it really, it, it's, it's hard to imagine uh, anything much quicker in the roofing industry. Uh, we're really excited to be offering it in Canada. Okay, I'm gonna, there we go. When you do broom it in, you're always going to broom from the middle out. That's going to push all the air bubbles out of the sheet opposed to keeping it in the center. Um, if you are going over top of a paper-faced ISO, like our ISO 95, that one will be broomed and rolled. But because this is a closed cell ISO with the HD board, it's just a broom. Well, I want to take, uh, thank everyone again for taking the time out to come watch our demo. Uh, we would be happy to come speak with you in our booth. Uh, we are at 306. Please feel free to stop by and we can talk more about how this may apply to some of your buildings. Uh, I'm not sure if we have the time. Are we doing all right for a couple of questions? Yeah, we've got uh, one or two minutes. If there are any questions, I'd be happy to talk. Yes. So, so the question is about the, the cost of the roof, right? So the cost of this roofing membrane is very similar to the cost of just uh, standard ultraply TPO and liquid bonding adhesive. Uh, where the building owner can really see savings though is in the speed of installation. So the labor savings are what's really going to save the money. Uh, the sheet itself is about the same cost as traditional materials. Uh, where you'll find the savings is, uh, is in the labor cost. Well, thank you very much for watching our single ply demonstration with Ultrafly TPOSA with Secure Bond Technology. Uh, please stop by our booth and we'll talk some more. Thank you very much.